Hey guys, I wanted to show you what I got for Christmas. Okay, I'm actually not as organized as I thought I would be. We always set up the presents to display them nice under the tree for like nobody to see, except for us. You know, we just look and gaze and be like, those are our presents. Okay, well, while I'm getting organized with all of my stuff, um, you know, Christmas isn't really about the presents. I have to say that. I feel like every time anyone does this haul video, they have to say that because it's not, it really isn't. I like the best part of it was actually hanging out with my mom and doing board games and my boyfriend, we're still together, but he's actually with his family in another state. But honestly, I know there's an audience for this because I personally watch these Christmas haul videos and that is why I make it tradition to do so on my channel as well. So for this Christmas 2022, Christmas actually was over the weekend. So that week before is when my boyfriend and I celebrated. We did nice dinners. Um, we just hung out pretty much every night, <laughs> like wrapping gifts separately in my other room, doing like the little wrapping station. And he played game night with me and my mom, Ticket to Ride, of course, favorite game, oh my God. So that was when we decided to exchange the majority of our gifts. But because we weren't going to be physically together for Christmas, we each decided to give each other something small just to actually open on Christmas Day. So that's exactly what I did. But he seemed to give me a lot of big things. <laughs> oh, now, you know, the first gift exchange was very spur of the moment where I wasn't ready. He just got overly excited. And I think it's because he just knew that this was the perfect time because we were going out to dinner and I was all dressed up. So he wanted to give me some of my gifts. So it wasn't wrapped because he was gonna come here to like do the little wrapping station, but he, um, it's enclosed. So he hands me this right away, loved it. He knows me so well. I am a fanny pack girl, but I'm a little surprised that he was going to feed my obsession like this because I've been wearing that fanny pack, my first original one everywhere yes i wear a fanny pack when i run errands because it's so smart like my hands are free but like it kind of started going into like date nights <laughs> where i'd always 24 7 wear a fanny pack and uh, i thought i'd get a little tired of it but i guess he just wanted me to upgrade fanny packs so very brand name i love the pink and one of the things that i really am picky about fanny packs is that i like a really big pouch this is so i can put my wallet and my iphone in there there's just so many fanny packs that have too many mini compartments. You can't do that. But there is like a little mini secret compartment here. Sorry, I'm not trying to show you my goodies. This is not a what's in my fanny pack video, but just in here. That's like a little small compartment, but it's a lot easier to do the little grab and goes like your chapstick. But when he handed it to me, I reached for it and I grabbed it and I was like, I think there's a box in here. And it was so romantic because inside the fanny pack was this gold promise bracelet. He, he wasn't quite for sure where I got um, the word promise from, but honestly, anything can be promised jewelry if you declare it. I was like, oh, thank you for the promise bracelet. I promise to say yes when you ask me to marry you. But I mean, yeah, because I accepted it, you know? So if you can see, it is engraved with our official date. So I guess like our anniversary. So now because it's actually in writing, it's in solid gold here. This means that when we get married, we're gonna have to celebrate our wedding anniversary and our official anniversary, which I don't think he's thought that far about, but this is good because he kind of didn't want to do the whole three month, six month anniversary thing. No, no, no. He said it was too many gifts that I was demanding, but like, <laughs> so. This is that, and it's from Oak and Luna, which is where we got my brace, my, my necklace from. You guys have seen this. So that week too, we were also shopping for his parents, and that's actually when we ended up going into a Dick's Sporting Goods, because that's very manly, you know, and his dad probably wants some stuff like that. And then we stumbled upon their uh, sports section, and you know, if you know anything about the Dallas Mavericks, everything is Luca, because I get it. There was one section, of Dinwiddie jerseys. Don't get me wrong, I do love Luca, but like everybody loves Luca. So I had a soft spot for Dinwiddie because uh, his name is, honestly, his name is just so super silly. Anyway, he saw this and he thought of me and he grabbed the jersey and I just thought that was so cute. So then when it came time for the something small to open, um, I got a really big, nice gift. So <laughs> with him, I got him MeUndies boxers but that was something small. And then I get this. So I actually recognized it because we talked about it. So we went to Ulta to help shop for his mom. And I saw this right away, but I was, you know, 
I know it was kind of expensive, you know, and I knew like I had makeup mirrors here, even though I don't really have one to like bring to his place, but I did side eye this. And I don't know if he noticed that I was kind of looking at it a little bit, or if he just knew this was something I liked because he was like, what do you think about this? Santa was very good to me. He always comes and fills up my stocking with lots of little goodies. So we got the typical teeth whitener. I show you guys this every single year. And it's a Christmas miracle how Santa knew that Vanilla Bean Noel is my favorite scent. It is so, so good. And I wouldn't be surprised if this is technically the same scent as just the Vanilla Bean regular that they sell throughout the year. But I don't know, there's something about it. And it's like green, it's like, oh, so good. So this is an exfoliating body scrub, which is good because I already have the perfume, but sometimes you just wanna lightly smell like things. And that's where these come in because then you wash it off and it's just a nice light scent. <sighs> Look at these hair clips. They're all so beautiful and gorgeous. Now I'm a hair clip girl, except for like in winter time, I'm, I'm definitely a hair band. More so just to cover my little ears up. I'm wearing one inside because uh, I need to shower and my hair looks bad. And then these are actually because I've gotten into scrapbooking and I actually have a scrapbooking haul video all set up and edited, but I have no idea where to put it because I don't, I'm not really a craft channel. Uh, and it's like my Patreon, my patrons on Patreon don't want to see that. <laughs> they don't. And then this is not really like main channel content stuff. So maybe I was thinking my vlog channel. I haven't uploaded on that in so long. So I know these are from Amazon because I may have added some things to my Amazon cart and walked away conveniently. <laughs> but um, so I know they're from Amazon and I did quite the search for cute little love stickers because the scrapbook I'm currently working on is for me and my boyfriend. They're like the perfect amount of cuteness. And then these are actually stencils. And this is a great way to save money on stickers and have a unique accent to your paper. They're thin, floppy, kind of flimsy, but they don't need to be much else than this. So the rest came from my mom. So um, I guess her and Santa really did talk it out because then I got this scrapbooking paper. Then I got this other fanny pack. <laughs> so my mom had gotten this for me way before she saw me come home with this one. But I feel like I can give love to both of these because this is totally like a wintertime hue. This one would be for when we go see the Barbie movie. This is definitely a hot pink that serves more for like the summer months. A replacement tripod. So I actually, as a gift from a patron, I can't remember if he wanted to be anonymous or not. I think he still watches my YouTube, but um, yes, you. You had given me this really cute silver tripod and it broke. I've had it for a long time. I brought it to Olivia's ranch. It got put in the back seat. It rattled around. It came in two pieces. I could not fix it for the life of me. I don't have any scissors on me. Okay, well just picture a copper aluminum tripod. No, 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 look at it. No, 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 look at it. Um, one time my mom was shopping at Big Lots before Christmas. She saw Space Cats. She got it for me. I loved it. It's a tradition. So right now in my room, I have Space Cats. So um, yeah, every year, Space Cats. And um, anything that I can link you to, I will, because I do know this is on Amazon. The rest I got are clothes, which I'm not really in the mood to try on just yet. So I'm just gonna show you. This is an athletic sweater. So whenever I have like a few new items that I get, what I do is I film just like a mini try on haul video, very casual. It's not like super polished and editing. And those little haul videos go up on my Patreon mainly for like the kitty tier, which is just $5 a month, just to have like a little extra support to fund my shopping habits so I can get more clothes to try on. So I got more athletic tops and I'm curious to see. So this one is mesh. I think you can see better when I hold up one layer at a time. And then in the back, it actually has a little pull string so you can cinch your waist. I love the concept. I think it's so cute. I do think it's a little bit limited where you can't really do crunches on your back. Probably, I assume this kind of sort of hurts, but I feel like this is more meant for cardio and I really loved this color. Now I'm not usually a yellow girl, but this is much more like highlighter, somewhat borderline green color. It's, it's just so pale and bright at the same time. I think it's gonna work for me. My mom has gone a little bit tired of me wearing baggy clothes, my brown sweat set time and time again. Even like when I saw my boyfriend, we were laughing because it was like 
fourth or fifth time in a row wearing them, like literally consecutively. So something different. I just think this is just such a sporty, such a cute look. And then of course the matching joggers and look at how they upgraded to like a little satiny bow. Okay, <laughs> yeah, my gosh. Okay, I thought this might be a little bit more of a windbreaker because of the material. So I looked at the tag and then like it gives you the, like the highlights or the features of it. And it says warm, comfortable pockets. Well, okay, then I'm good with the pockets. Oh my gosh. Okay, this was actually a gift I got my mom, but look at the MeUndies. They're space cats too. And then to finish up with the clothes, I saved the most elegant for last. This is this blazer. Um, it looks very chic and fancy. It looks like I'm um, Monopoly guy 2.0. Then I have the finale that this came from my half brother and he did so good because this was something that was literally sitting on my Amazon wish list, but it was kind of pricey. It's a little over a hundred dollars, um, but it was just something that I knew would truly elevate my film equipment. I don't want to hit the tree. It's so long. The box that came out was huge. This pop-up green screen. This is too much to get out. I'm just going to insert a picture on here, but you can look. Now, I think I can go a little bit taller. I literally pushed, like pulled it up as high as I could go. And I'm 5'2". It is heavy. It's doable if I can pick it up. It has a handle. The main reason though I did want this pop-up green screen is that I've always had dreams of having my own gaming channel. And I have a fitness one too that like, maybe if I get enough subscribers, like I'll work out more and do. So, okay, I'll link those down below. And thank you. Love you, mean it, bye.